breaking news here on the Plus. Fort Campbell officials have confirmed that a pilot and co-pilot on board that helicopter that crashed last night did die. News Channel 5's Cuthbert Langley is in Montgomery County, not far from the crash site this morning. And Cuthbert, I know the uh, investigators are going to be out there again this morning trying to find out what happened. Steve, they are. We've actually seen several Montgomery County Sheriff deputies driving down Golston Road, which is the road that's running parallel to me right now. We are about three to four miles away from the crash site. It's sealed right now as the investigation begins into what went so wrong last night. The identities of the pilots killed have not been released to us this morning, but I have been able to gather from the Fort Campbell officials up there that they were members of the 101st Airborne Division. They were on a routine training mission when their Apache helicopter crashed. Here is a look at the scene from Sky 5 HD. You can kind of make it out there at the bottom of your screen. Of course, it was very dark when this happened. This was in a field, again, in a very rural area in Montgomery County. In fact, we were speaking with rescue crews last night who said they had a hard time finding the crash site, but once they did, they found the helicopter engulfed in flames, and unfortunately, the pilots were declared dead there on the scene. But in terms of what went wrong here, those questions have let, yet to be answered because, of course, the investigation is just beginning. This happened late last night, so obviously we had to wait for daylight in order for the investigation to really uh, take hold here. So, of course, we are expecting updates to come down from Fort Campbell throughout the morning. And as soon as we get those updates, we'll be sure to update you on our website at newschannel5.com. For now, we're live here in Montgomery County this morning. I'm Cuthbert Langley, News Channel 5.